Mason Bible. Totally demonic. So I got on eBay and got myself a Masonic King James Bible. This is a Freemason insignia on the front. But what really shocked me the first time I picked this up, Sun God, Ra, Amen. But they do feature Egyptian gods and goddesses, which is kind of interesting because, um, you know, being Catholic, a Roman Catholic in my case, um, we are not taught that these gods exist, but they, you know, they clearly have them shown here, so. Now just go to the pictures in the back. The Egyptian gods and goddesses. more Egyptian gods and goddesses. Babylonian crap mixed in here. I thought this was interesting. The soul revisiting the body. Ani was rich enough to have a really awesome book of the dead, I guess. Well, there's an obelisk. Well, that's, uh, that was Osiris's penis. That's, that's, uh, phallic worship, yeah. You'd be able to share it with anyone that watches the video. But then you flip to the back, and there's all this Egyptian, Babylonian account of the building of the walls and temples of Babylon. Wanderers. The king of Babylon on like some kind of plate. Now this belonged to Brother Edward Black. He was initiated November 10th, 36. He passed and then was raised. And we'll see here somebody had already been initiated, passed, and raised. Where it was presented on the date, so this would have been um, which is about a year ago. This when you're doing the the ceremony, you're asked, uh, what do you seek? Light. And then the second degree, it's what do you seek? More light. And then the third degree, what do you seek? Uh, further light. And they rise up through the, the degrees. And, and the hidden secret, which is revealed at the 33rd degree, is that the light you've been seeking all of this time is the light of the light bearer, Lucifer. See, they use this term, light, light, great light, all the way through, and, and the hidden secret, which is not revealed until the 33rd degree, is what the light really is. When you finally find out uh, you know, what the great light is, it is supposed to be that you're worshiping Satan the entire time. Let's, oh, look at this. From darkness to light. Check that out. Look, we have alchemy, Eastern Star, Baphomet. And then we get page 33. The Holy Bible starts on page 33. Could that be a coincidence? The Holy Bible starts on the 33rd page of the Masonic Bible. And they say that the source of this symbol is, it's an important symbol borrowed from the Freemasons from the nations of antiquity, or rather iniquity is what the Bible would call it. Among the Egyptians, Osiris, their chief deity, was symbolized by an open eye. Really now? So, that's, that's, that's what we should use for the God of the Bible, huh? Sounds like bell worship, guys. The eyes of Jehovah are in every place, beholding and watching the evil and the good. It is the symbol of omnipresent deity. He who introduces light into the lodge must be a worthy man and experienced in the craft. Legend of the craft, legend of the temple. My name on the Masonic and the Order of the Eastern Star, the Baphomet there. 
Photo of George Washington's sash worn in the Revolutionary War at the time he resigned his commission in 1783. Oh boy. The building of Solomon's Temple. Oh look, this is George Washington's Masonic apron. Oh, look at that. George Washington. Okay. Oop, Thomas Jefferson. James Madison. Check it out. James Monroe. Andrew Jackson. Here you have Masonic presidents of our country. Masonic presidents. I'll zoom in here so you can read a little bit better. George Washington, Mason, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe, Andrew Jackson, James Knox, Polk, James Buchanan, Andrew Johnson, James Garfield, William McKinley, Theodore Roosevelt, William Howard Taft, Warren uh, Gamaliel Harding, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Harry S. Truman, Gerald Ford, the fatherhood of God, the brotherhood of man. And there you have George Washington with a nice all-seeing eye radiating down over the White House. Nice imagery there. The um, white apron there is made of lamb's wool and it symbolizes the veil that veils the uh, Holy of Holies from the God of Masonry which is right directly behind the veil. Excuse me there, I have to point there. That's the God of Masonry. You see the square, you see the compass, you know this this thing here right there the G in the middle does not stand for God It does not stand for geometry it stands for generativity it is a sex symbol okay in the initiation in Freemasonry we had to be recommended by another Mason well in order to join witchcraft you have to be first screened you have to be recommended by somebody currently in witchcraft. Well, when I was initiated, I was blindfolded and bound by a rope. And on your bare chest was thrust the point of a spear. In witchcraft, we were initiated through a, uh, a very involved ritual, uh, initiation ceremony, uh, wherein the uh, candidate was led uh, blindfolded, uh, bound by a rope, uh, to the edge of uh, the uh, magic circle. And the rope is around your neck and your lid forward. And up front, in the eastern end of the building, is a person who's a worshipful master. And you kneel down before him. And he brought me into the inner court of the house of the Lord. And behold, at the entrance of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about 25 men with their backs to the temple of the Lord and their faces toward the east, worshiping the sun toward the east. Women who are Freemasons belong to the Order of the Eastern Star. <laughs> Members of the Mount Olive Grand Chapter, Order of Eastern Star of Texas. The radiance, God is the center of the radiance, that solar symbol in which the G is enshrined. As if he were a God. You were met uh, by the uh, high priest or high priestess uh, at that time, usually with a sword uh, to your chest. When I went to enter the lodge, a sharp object was put to my left breast. And I was warned that should I reveal any of the secrets of Freemasonry, uh, to know what to expect. And in the entered apprentice degree, you swear uh, that you would rather have your throat slit your tongue torn out by its roots and buried in the rough sands of the sea at low water mark where the tide ebbs and flows twice in 24 hours. When you're presented before the high priest, a sword is held against your chest and you actually take a blood oath promising to remain faithful to the secrets of witchcraft. Well, when you are in the room, this um, blindfold is taken away from you and this is a time when they say that you're coming from darkness into light. During the initiation ceremony, the, the initiate is led by the lieutenant of the uh, high priest and is challenged at the edge of the circle by someone saying, who goes there? And the answer is, one from the world of darkness. In masonry, the prayers are ended with, so mote it be. Oh, and one of the other aspects of uh, 
or distinctives of the craft was that we would always end any spell or ritual where we released the power, this is where the power was released, with the word so mote it be.